Hello, Stampers. How are you? I am Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And we are going to make this super cute card tonight. I can't wait. I'm just getting set up here on iPad, hopefully. It seems like my iPad is frozen. Where are we? I have no connectivity. Woohoo! Yay! All right, let's see. Am I here? Let me find me. You would think I would be able to... Oh, I'm going to have to turn my volume down. I know that because I've been listening to Christmas carols all day. Woohoo! Trying to get in the spirit. All right. I think we're going. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Sharon. You guys found me before I found myself. Woohoo! <laughs> It's going to be one of those nights. I'm just warning you, okay? Just warning you. It's one of those nights. Um, I said, I saw this. I should post it on my Facebook page. It was a really cute um, polar bear dragging itself along the ground and then it just collapses. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to share it on my business page because it just, I sent it to a co-worker because that's exactly how we're all feeling right now is we're just kind of just kind of there. We're just kind of dragging. All right. So we're going to make a version of this card. So this is from the annual catalog. It's the Artistically Inked and it comes in um, a suite with some gorgeous paper. I have not played like I when I when this came out in the annual catalog, I fell in love with it. And this is the first time I've had a chance to play with it. So I'm just going to show you quickly the paper. It is specialty paper, so you can see uh, the foil, gold foil in here that adds a lot of bling. It's super, oh, I don't know, just love it. Love it. And then obviously this is the, the piece of paper that we're going to be using tonight. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, oh I don't know. I, I'm speechless. And then on the back, it's more just... Some, here's some gold foil and just some really abstract designs and it's just really bright cheery pretty colors love it so we're gonna play with this tonight um, it comes in a bundle so and you can see that these are not distinctive like they're very um, washed out they're very it's supposed to look like a watercolor so you're not going to get a really crisp, crisp image, and you're not supposed to. So that's okay. Nice sentiments in it, so it's perfect for somebody just starting out. And some cool dyes that will cut out the stamped images, as well as some very detailed dyes that you can use as backgrounds. And that's what we're going to do tonight. All right, so let's get started. You love that DSP? I do too. It's not orderable right now but it's expected back in this week so any day it should come back into stock so if you do want to get your hands on it it'll go fast because every time it comes into stock it goes back out again because everyone loves it all right so we are playing with polished pink so this is one of the ink colors so we just need a half a piece of a standard cardstock so this is eight and a half by five and a half and we're gonna give it a score at four and a quarter and just fold it over you can use your bone folder if you want my fingers work doesn't give it as good of a crisp crispy edge but you know it'll work there we go all right so polished pink is the color that we're using tonight this one I did kind of two tones. So I did um, Care Pizzazz with the color DSP. Tonight we're going to just be using the pink DSP. So this is uh, five and a quarter by one and a half. And I have a piece of polished pink to back it up, which is uh, one and three quarters by five and a quarter. So they're the same width, but a, but we're gonna get a border on either side. You could cut it so you get a border on, on both ends if you wanted to. I just kind of liked it this way. So let's just attach that. 
so that I don't lose it because you know me, I will lose it. So how are you guys enjoying this balmy weather? This is absolutely crazy. It is December the 15th and I think it's going double digits tomorrow. How crazy is that? Okay, so we're just gonna attach that. We have this and then we need two pieces of uh, basic white which are five and a quarter by four. One is gonna be for the inside and one is gonna be for the outside. What I did with the one for the outside is, I already did it so you didn't have to watch me do it, is I ran it through this super cute new um, embossing folder. So this comes, um, I don't know if I have the other one handy, I do. It's in the new January to June mini and it's a stripe and splatter um, embossing folder combo. Isn't this cute? So I don't know if you can see that, the stripes and then the splatter. So I use the splatter tonight um, because it is thinner than your cardstock. I just ran it through twice. So I just put it in like this, ran it through my stamp and cut and emboss and then did it again this way. There is a little bit of a line here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know what? That's not going to matter because it's going to be hidden by this. Okay. So that's, so anyway, you just have to run it through twice. That's all you have to do. Um, the other thing that I did and with these, I, I've pre-cut this so you didn't have to watch me do it. Um, adhesive sheets are your best friend with these dies. These are very intricate. You can put glue on the back and stick it down, but it's going to be a pain and it's probably, if you're anything like me, going to be very messy. So um, adhesive sheets is the way to go when you're dealing with dyes like this. So all of my fingernails are falling off again. I think it's stress. So I have no fingernails. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> all right. So I just peeled the backing off and all the little bits came, which is nice. So I don't have to poke around. And I'm just going to see which way. I kind of want the leaves down at the bottom and this poking up at the top. And I'm going to just center it. I'm just adding this to add a little bit of texture. It's going to be in the background, tone on tone, so it's not popping out. You could, if you wanted to, um, sponge it and just have a little bit more of a pop if you wanted. Um, you could also sponge the background if you wanted, uh, but I just wanted to keep it really simple and clean. So I didn't do that. So I just put the die cut down with the adhesive sheet, and now I'm just going to glue this. I'm going to glue it not quite centered. Okay. So it's a little bit off of center and I'm just going to stick it down. You can use whatever kind of adhesive you want. Um, I'm just going to use glue. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Have you had a chance to uh, use your watercolor pencils? They're a lot of fun, eh? I have to get mine out. I'm so, I just, I just put in my holiday request today. I am, I just, I decided I am taking some time off. So I'm going to take, go on holidays next Wednesday. Woohoo. So excited. All right. And I'm going to play. I am going to play in my craft room. All right, so um, now we're ready for some stamping. So I'm just gonna put that, so we kind of did our background. I have a scrap piece of basic white here and we are going to stamp. So I wanna do some leaves. So if you can see here, I did some leaves um, and we did this flower here. So let's do I want to keep this one all monochrome, so I'm going to bring out my leaves and I'm going to just stamp three of them. And I'm using polished pink. Oh, I got a dog hair there. Um, I do want to stamp off. I don't want it to be very bright. I want it to be kind of a little bit more subtle than full strength. So I'm just going to stamp there, stamp here, ink up, stamp here, stamp here. 
Okay, and then we're gonna die cut those out. Just let me wash my soup. Oh, good, I'm glad you got to play with them. Um, so for those of you guys that do not follow me on Facebook, um, we are hosting, so Laurel and Sandy and I are hosting a winter escape. Um, so it's gonna be featuring the, let me see if I have them here. I do. It's gonna be featuring the flowering tulip stamp set and bundle. So there's dies that go with this. I don't have them handy, so I won't pull them out. Um, registration, this is gorgeous. Like there's so many beautiful sentiments. The dies are gorgeous. I can show you a little, um, I was making a little cheat sheet for myself, but you can see how you can make the, the tulip tops. Don't, don't mind the colors. I'm just looking at the pattern so I can see which which ones go with which. Um, the dies are gorgeous and the stamp set is gorgeous. So we're offering a winter retreat. Um, it's a stamp camp. So we're gonna be making nine projects. We're gonna have little gifts for you, giveaways. Um, you get a $50 bag of stamping up goodies. Um, and the retreat is $85. We're gonna Zoom together on February 19th registration closed January 7th so don't miss out it's going to be a lot of fun and um yeah and the stamp set the bundle is gorgeous it's actually part of a mega suite so I'm just taking the, the floral image here I inked it up and I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp down okay and then I can't multitask anymore my goodness Okay, and then I'm going to take this other floral image, I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to stamp it in the middle full. Okay, so that just gives it a little bit more depth. And then we are going to close the stamp pad before my fingers or my card lands in it. And I'm going to clean off these. Okay. So we're going to go over to our um, die cut and emboss machine and the magic of video, we cut them out. There we go. So with this one, the dies, let me see, do I have them? Where are they? I have them. This one you can see, so to line it up, it's pretty simple actually. Stamping up made this one easy for us. Sometimes, sometimes I struggle. Do you see the big little V in here? And you see the V here, you just line that those v, that V up and the rest of it falls into place. And then you just cut it out. So it's nice that we have that very distinctive crevice in there so that we can line up our dies easily without worry. Okay, so we've cut these out. Now we're going to assemble. So these guys, I wanted to add a little bit of texture on them. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to curl them just very gently. You don't want to do it too much. It'll just add a little pop on our, on our um, card. I have four here. We probably won't use four, but I just cut four just so that we had them just in case. The other thing that I am using and the part in the mess of this is the um, I'm making a mess is the um, expressions and ink ephemera pack. Um, so this is part of the suite and it comes. Let me show you one that's not destroyed by me. Um, you get a whole bunch of gold foil sheets with um, you have ones for sentiment. You have frames that you can use, leaves, etc. So we're going to use some of these on our card. Let me find one. Can I find one that I've already destroyed? <laughs> yes, here's one. All right, I think I want, let's use this one. So all you do is pop them out, stick some adhesives on, and you've got a really cool embellishment. I think we're gonna go with those two. All right. We need some blue dots. 
So are you guys ready for Christmas? Hey Sarah, how are you? Hopefully you are ready for Christmas. Um, I'm not, but I will be because I'm taking holidays. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Let's decide how we want this to look. So before I start putting glue on it, I kinda want it up a little bit like this. Stick some leaves around. Do we want a leaf down here? Do we want two glue, two golds, or do we want one gold? Or do we want two up here? Or over here? How do we want this? Um, what do you think? I think just one. One works, I think, and maybe th three leaves. Don't forget we want our sentiment. Maybe we should do our sentiment and we'll get that cut out and then we can decide how we want this to look. How about that? So right now, we're gonna set that aside. So for the sentiment, I'm gonna do some heat embossing. So I just have a piece of petal pink here. Let's get this stuff out of the way. All right. Um, I am going to take my embossing buddy and I'm just going to give it a little once over there just to get rid of some of the static. So, oh, look at that. I have, I have ephemera packs coming everywhere. Um, I need my Versamark and I need my sentiment. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm just going to do a thank you card. I have to do so many thank you cards. So... This is a good opportunity. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in there. Okay, you guys can't see that, but it's there. And then I'm going to just bring in my white embossing powder. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to hear the, um, the embossing machine going off. I'm just gonna stick it in here. Do a little bit more, give it a good flick. Get rid of the embossing powder that I have everywhere. <laughs> and, okay. I, hopefully I plugged this in. I plugged it in, but I didn't heat it up. So we're just gonna heat this up. You did, Linda. Congratulations. You did move up. That means you get a 25% discount now. Woohoo! You did, yep, yeah, that's awesome. So you are now Bronze Elite, you get 25% discount, and you should get a little bonus from stamping up as well. So that is awesome. Um, I was going to congratulate you in the next team meeting, but you beat me to it. <laughs> okay, so all I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna fussy cut around here. So just really, just loosely cut around. Let's get rid of this. And so what we're talking about there, Linda's on my team and we have different levels. And once you reach a certain level of sales, or in my case, purchases, um, you promote and you get a higher discount from Stamping Up. So you get to buy your um, Stamping Up products on sale every time you make a purchase. So um, Linda just promoted and she now gets 25% off of every purchase she makes. Isn't that cool? All right. There we go. So if I put this, look at the, I'm covered in embossing powder. So if we put this here, I think that kind of works. What do you think? Okay, so let's, let's attach. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. What I wanna do is I wanna put glue dots on the back. I have so much stuff here, I can barely move. It looks okay on camera, but oh my goodness, outside the camera, it is crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a glue dot, hopefully. Um, 
I'm going to stick the glue dot here. And I am going to attach it with a glue dot. Okay? So you don't even have to get glued out and get all messy. Because that's me. I get messy, messy, messy with glue. So are you guys um, making, are you doing a traditional Christmas dinner? Are you having a COVID style Christmas? We're having a COVID style Christmas. So it'll just be the four of us, but that's okay. We'll make the most of it. We'll, uh, I'm going to still make the traditional um, Christmas Eve dinner and I don't want three and I don't want this one here. Let me move this one. Um, we're still going to make our traditional Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas Day dinner. How do I want this? Oh my goodness. Not there. How about like that? Does that work? Yes, that works. And then we'll put this here. What do you guys think? Does that work? All right, so I'm gonna pop this guy up if I can find dimensionals. And we're almost done the outside. Oh, look at this, I have dog hair everywhere. I didn't think Milo was gonna shed. Well, guess what, he sheds. But he doesn't shed fur, it's more like hair. Which is, I think, worse. I think I prefer the shedding of the fur. Okay, so I'm going to stick that there. And we're going to cut off some of this here. This is the edge. This is a good, great way to use your edge of your dimensionals. Don't throw them out. They are handy. And stick it here. All right, and then in that ephemera pack are some really pretty they're adhesive back sequins so we're just going to pick one up and just stick them there and I'm gonna put one right in the middle there and oh missed it oh it's stuck on my finger okay and there we go what do you guys think which one? Oh, let me attach it to the card base and then you can tell me which one you like better. If you like it with the green or if you like it all um, polished pink. I think I kind of like the polished pink. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's, I have to make so many thank you cards. So I am going to be making this one a lot because it's so easy and so pretty. I think it's pretty, but maybe I'm biased. Okay, so we need the inside now. Oh, and you know what? I went and st stamped on my inside. I got a spare one here. All I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave the inside pretty much almost blank, but I am just gonna decorate the bottom. So there's this really cool, it's just like a splatter almost. Um, so I am just going to splatter on the bottom. And you could stamp off if you want, if you don't want it as dark. The stamp itself gives you a lot of different tones with it. I'm just gonna kind of do the corner just like that. And then there's some cute little flowers. So I'm just gonna stamp those. What do you think? Maybe I should have stamped off so I could see the flowers a little bit better. Oh well, next time. And then all we do is stick that on the inside and we have a, a super easy thank you card. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please leave comments for me. I will come back and um, answer them. If you have any questions, comments, don't forget to check out the um, our stamp camp, the Flowering Tulip Stamp Escape. And, oh, you like them both, Linda? Yeah, I don't know. I like, uh, yeah, I guess I like them both too. The green adds a little pop. Um, and see, this one, I used the leaf one here too. 
So don't forget to check out our stamp camp. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm doing it with two very, very talented stampers. So um, the cards will be beautiful, I can guarantee. And um, have an awesome week. So I am so excited for next week. I'm gonna be on holidays. I've, I'm taking holidays from Wednesday on. Hopefully you guys are getting some holidays in too. And uh, and hopefully we can get some lots of stamping together. I am trying something new this Saturday on my Facebook Live. Um, so at 9.30 in the morning, I am going to be doing a uh, the first part of a three-part series called Love and Friendship. Um, so for um, a Saturday in December, one in January, and one in February, I'm going to go live on Facebook and we're going to make three cards together. And if you want those card kits, you can get them simply by placing an order with me. Um, and I will send the card kits in the mail. But otherwise, you can just join me on Facebook and uh, watch me make the cards and get hopefully some ideas for, for stuff for you to do. So have an awesome week. Hopefully I will see you on Saturday. And uh, if not, next Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye.